Curse you, Town Hall. Curse you. <laughs> Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake. Again, I'm Burning Dogface, and we're fighting our way across Bright Falls, which is completely overrun by the shadow. This is, uh, very tense. Before I moved on from this spot, where I was very grumpy about the uh, Town Hall not letting me back in, I just wanted to point out that A, that gun symbol is exactly the same outline as the one up in the corner, I believe, except for missing the holes in the barrel. And two, I hope they found their cat. And once again, test Sarah's infinite patience. Okay, odd. Whoa. I was looking in entirely the wrong place. Some trappers and explorers, and they have gnarly capes. Man, why did capes go to fashion? It's not recorded when Bright Falls was first formed as a nameless trading post, but it became a town when the Bright Falls Mining Company started to operate nearby in 1878. It was then that Hubert Biltmore, a fur trapper, and Amos Gunderson, or Amos Gunderson, a pioneer from Tacoma, decided to build a post office, saloon, and hotel, all operating from the same building. It was through the efforts of those two of these two men that Bright Falls became the permanent and thriving town it is today. Oh, well, thank you to those guys. Actually, no, you know what? Maybe if we hadn't built a town next to that lake, there wouldn't be a problem. I still find it crazy that, uh... You, you look at today's world, and it's just bizarre to wrap your head around the idea that yeah, people just didn't keep records of things. Like, there are those things that we can't know. Like, there are Hollywood movies that no one can watch because every copy was destroyed after its run in the theaters, because that's just what they did in the first few decades of uh, film. Like, we know what the movie w was called, we know everyone in the cast, we have a, uh, a fucking plot synopsis, but no one will ever see it again. Because every copy is gone. I think my f the most recent example of something like that I've heard of is, uh... We don't know exactly when the original Super Mario Brothers came out. You know, the NES game? It was, uh... Released in 1985, but there are contradictory reports saying which month it was, uh, released in. I almost said born in. Wrong bumper, I panicked. Ten seconds, odd. Wow, we just slaughtered that guy. Hey, can I get a deputy's badge or something? That would be cool. Wait, do they still do we can that? Make it through the bookstore. <laughs> Wheeler should be waiting for people? us in the backyard. Keep the hell down or I'll call the sheriff. Oh, hi, Doc. I've got it. Don't worry about it. Sarah, about time somebody showed up. All the shooting in the air is idiotic. One of these days, they'll kill somebody. And over deer fest. I know. Go back to bed. He's got a point, Wake. Look, this town can't take this. 
Oh, this is his office slash home. I do like that, you know, they only have the one model for the guy, so he's still dressed like he just came back from a fishing expedition. Hmm. Wake and Sheriff Breaker have to meet up with Barry and then reach the helicopter. What if I shoot at the windows? No, no, it's not. He's an old man. That's rude. Usually he does that big, exaggerated, uh... Wow! A, re a featured book of the month. Because I was just going to say, this came out two years ago! Well, I guess the town really likes me. You know, they suggested that, uh... Uh, huh, terror. They said, wait, is there something else written there? Yes. But I think it's a lorem ipsum. Or I was reading, you know, more into random shapes than I should have. Double feature, the snowy fi hills. Uh, Godfather, Godfather. Medicated to hate. Uh, Mom's survival guide. Jody Wade. Oh, that's, that's the author's name. But I can't read... Oh, Sanity, Sanity. It was behind one of those, uh... Yeah, one of those metal things there, so I couldn't see the full title. Oh, Farewell to Sanity, even. Conspiracy of Faith, Alan had that one. Web M. Wait, that's just a format. It's like an image format. Believe in Change? I think that's the same face as the guy from, uh... Where did it go? Yeah, medicated to hate. There uh, on Alan's right on the level of his uh, upper arm. Well, so I can get them in the same shot. Uh, oh, I thought I thought that sign right there was a, Q a QR code for a moment. <laughs> they're really taking advantage of your presence here, Wake. I heard they're selling a lot of your Alex Casey books. Right now, I'm not a big fan of my own writing. That must have sounded really weird out of context. Oh, hey. Oh. Oh. Oh! Wow! Oh, no, it's not a manuscript page. Ah! It's a, that's why it wasn't glowing. It's just a fucking piece of paper. Alex Casey Books by Alan Wake, modern master of crime fiction. Alex Casey. What I Can't Forget. Return to Sender. The Things That I Want. The Fall of Casey and The Sudden Stop. All in stock. $20 a book, $100 for the full set. Mr. Wake is in town. See if you can get them autographed. I was 100% convinced that, uh... Sort of just got thrown off by there even being an architecture section. Children's books, except they're all the same books. Uh, yeah, I was 100% convinced it was going to have some snarky comment when he closed out of that. Also, I can see there that it's not Godfather, Godfather, it's Good Father, Bad Father. Alright, I'm faffing around too long. Oh, God! Physics! Hey, remember how I was like, oh, it's, it's really bright in here. That's why I didn't notice. I now take that comment, and I reapply it over there. Cynthia's work. Cynthia Weaver worked hard. Following her obsessive rituals, sometimes fighting them, always giving in to them in the end. She haunted the halls of Bright Falls' abandoned power plant. She marked her caches with light-sensitive paint that could only be seen by eyes that had been touched by darkness oh. and saved by light like she'd been. She was preparing defenses and supply lines for the war she knew would come. The war between the forces of light and darkness. So, Sh Shara really can't see that, huh? It's not... She could have left those there a year ago. I mean, not the one where the flashlight was on, but... 
The Newton Principle, the little-known prequel to uh, the Talos Principle. That's a lie. Oh. Oh, never mind then. I'm going to go up these stairs. You can't stop me this time, Sarah! <laughs> oh, that's the indignance. I am, I'm sorry, Black Lace, White Lies. That's actually a really good title. I might have to steal that. Bookworm! Oh, this is the children's book section. Bob the Bear Goes Shopping. Or Going Shopping, even. Why is the children's section the creepy part? I guess I wasn't really expecting the ammo to be lying around, but I was kind of hoping for, like, a thir- <gasps> How to catch a dope fish? How to catch the legendary dope fish? How do I get the whole. There we go! And then I just. And screenshot. It's not F12 because that's not Steam. Yes! Dope fish lives! Throw up the horns. Wow! It's been a while since I found one of those. Fucking A, man. I think the last time I actually saw one was in, uh... Is in Max Payne 1, yeah. I found that Easter egg area. Well, I say found. I looked it up because I heard it was there and it was hard to find if you don't go intentionally looking for it. But I swear that was the only thing I knew about. That particular version of Dope Fish had, uh, hands instead of fins, and it was dual-wielding pistols. You know, because it was Max Payne. So, Dope Fish I lives. I see Barry. I do. Look, wait, maybe that's him. That's the way to the chopper. Wait, no, the hardware store was over there. As evidence with a giant pile of lumber. Hey, Sarah, uh, do you see that? No. Okay. Wait. Is that meant to be the fucking diving suit? The one that Zane wears? What did I just- Oh, flare gun ammo. I thought I was opening the thing. And I don't hear it anymore, now that I've emptied the chest! Oh, never mind. That's just creepy, man. So, whatever Zane has become, he is one with the light. I don't... you know... I don't think... That it's something, you know, good, using his skin, the way that something evil uses Barbara's. But I think he's more than just a person now. He's very odd, and I can't get a very good uh, understanding of him at all. Is that a radio flyer? Seriously? What does that say? Ooh. That looks like German. Weinacht, Weinacht wagon. I probably pronounced that completely wrong, but you know, I did my best. An attempt was made. Ooh. <laughs> Alan, don't step in the sh sandbox with your shoes on. That's gross. Ooh. Whee! Oh, no. Oh, I could get this thing going crazy if I can turn at just the right speed. <laughs> this is silly. This is silly! I'm literally playing on a playground during the darkness apocalypse. Oh, 
I mean, you could do some cavorting if you wanted to, I'm just saying. It's a free country, I think. Well, 2010, it was certainly a freer country. Controversy. Um... Why was I expecting an Old Gods logo to be somewhere on this stage? They locked those guys up in the, uh... In the lodge. They don't want to hear their music. Oh, hey! Marty's! Oh. Yeah, let's put that away. I've just realized that. You know, I remembered actually destroying the Deerfest float last time. And I thought there was a, like a, a, a file somewhere in control talking about how it was one of the things that went missing after these events. Barry in the general store. I guess it wasn't a hardware store. Barry got back to his feet inside the Bright Falls general store and dusted himself off. Right next to the cans of baked beans was a locked case filled with flare guns. And yet here was a conveniently placed barrel of crowbars. You're welcome, Barry. Barry's smile widened as he realized that this was the classic movie scene where the hero had to gear up and arm himself to the teeth. Barry threw himself into the role. We're just gonna find him covered in, like, scrap metal armor and, uh, guns on every limb and... <laughs> yeah, it's the scene where the hero gets serious. Fucking Barry Wheeler just turns into Rambo. Wearing his belt around his head. Actually, no, you don't want to wear a belt as a bandana. The, the buckle would be bump bumping against your uh, shoulders all the time. I'll take that. I have that already. Thank you. Oh, yes. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, I'd say Cynthia came through here, too. Oh, I liked the note that, uh... Shit, I've already forgotten. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I, I, I was looking at this and I was just thinking to myself, uh... Did any of us really think the woman who was totally obsessed with keeping the lights on was crazy in this game? I mean, they told us how important the, the light and dark thing is going to be in the tutorial. Episode 1, my droogs. Oh. Church events, fall schedule, Sunday school, Sundays, Bible school, Mondays, Bright Falls Knitting Club meetings, alternative, uh, alternating Wednesday evenings. Yes, yeah, not alternatives. Deerfest Candle Night, September 14th. Deerfest Morning Service, September 15th. The Presbyterian Choir of Watery Visit, September 28th. Uh, annual Charity Bake Sale, October 3rd. It's such a damn wholesome town. I think that's why they set this here. That's because it's horrifying that these things are happening here. I mean, how many apocalypses have we seen set in New York, right? I'm gonna give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. Ugh. I told him to get it fixed. Might I recommend breaking the door down? Let's take a break. Let's take a break. So you know what? Fuck you guys. They did just phase in out of thin air. That's creepy as shit. Ah! Fuck off! Where the hell did they go? No!
Sarah, get out of the way! Oh shit. Get fucked! Oh, my organs. Shit. Hey, before we trigger that then, uh, maybe I'll just call it an episode. Which I don't want to do that, it's the very end of the session and I might forget to look around for all the goods and services I didn't pick up yet. Uh, uh... Uh, I should go, though. I just have to remember to get the things. You know, like the, oh, this wasn't the truck. Oh, it is the truck with the page in the back. Excellent, good. I don't think I actually need to do that. I just want to make sure I do. I mean, canonically, as I said, uh, Alan does miss at least one page because the Bureau gets their hands on it. Uh, there was one thing I wanted to, uh, bring up. Do I have that right here? Uh... Okay, just a moment. Okay, I just want to finish off with a couple of shout-outs. Uh, here we go. Shout-out to Yornik. The Taken are filled with darkness, huh? Spoiler alert, all of us are filled with darkness. That's how internal organs work. Unless your diet consists of f flashlights and fluorescent paint, in which case, stop. Please? It can't be good for you. Also, Alan seems to be okay with making the Dark Presence a one-dimensional sort of villain. Dark is bad because it's dark and also bad. Not to mention, uh, no mention of little funny details like its favorite coffee, Light Roast actually, or fave superhero, The Flash, or why it's breathing so hard. It's actually because the darkness decided to quit smoking. The same reason it's so cranky right now. Oh, and it's fave cigarettes, Marlboro Lights. <laughs> so thank you for that array of puns. But uh, also, shout out to Torek00 who says, So here's a fun question for everyone. What's a piece of advice you cling to so passionately, use so much in your day-to-day -day life, that you'd babble it endlessly as a taken? Here's mine, they say. Corrections should consist of a single strikethrough, the corrected value, the date, and your initials. Do not scribble out. Do not write a new number over the old one. We don't hide our mistakes here. <laughs> I like that. I believe I mentioned before. I'm pretty sure I'd be doing intros and outros as I explore looking for victims as a taken. Just walking through the woods and you're welcome back to Let's Play. <laughs> oh no. Anyway, as I said about outros, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Alan Wake again. When we head into that building, don't die in a... Oh, it's a church. That's right, Pastor Howard. And don't die in a uh, attack by the Taken. Maybe, just maybe, we catch up with Barry. Till then, stay in the light.